Now, you thought White Lotus was hot. How about episode five of the Twitter files? We're going to turn our attention now to the fifth installment of the Twitter files. The documents revealed that some staffers did not think that former President Trump violated Twitter's policies. Tom Dempsey joins us live with a closer look at what we are learning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Mitch. Yeah, this latest Twitter files release shows how Twitter staff allegedly organized to demand the removal of former President Donald Trump from the site and how the team that monitors tweets allegedly found no violations of policy by the former president. Barry Weiss, who's the uh, founder and editor of the Free Press, is the one behind uh, this latest set of Twitter files being released. Uh, she posted the alleged internal communications from within Twitter. This latest thread all revolved around the aftermath of the January 6th riot at the Capitol and how staff pushed for Trump to be removed. The tweets show that some employees vo voiced concerns with a ban, with one writing, quote, maybe because I am from China, I deeply understand how censorship can destroy the public conversation. But pressure continued to grow. And an open letter signed by 300 employees to CEO Jack Dorsey, published in the Washington Post, demanded Trump's ban. But Weiss went on to report that Twitter staff assigned to evaluate tweets quickly concluded that Trump had not violated Twitter's policies, with one employee writing, quote, I think we'd have a hard time saying this is incitement. Weiss's tweets go on to describe how Twitter staff held an all-staff meeting to discuss the issue and how the company's head of legal, policy, and trust asked if tr Trump's tweets could be, quote, coded incitement to further violence. The company's scaled enforcement team then later said Trump may have violated the glorification of violence policy. Shortly afterward, Trump later did get banned due to the risk of further incitement of violence. This all follows previous releases of Twitter communications earlier this month as part of an initiative under new owner Elon Musk. The other releases show how Twitter allegedly tried to suppress a story on Hunter Biden while also censoring tweets from Trump. Now, the former president did not comment directly on this latest uh, Twitter files release, but he did repost a few articles uh, detailing the controversy with Twitter on his social media platform, Truth Social. Mitch? Well, Tom, you mentioned the Twitter Trust and Safety Board. What is happening with that? Does it even exist anymore? Yeah, that was a big talker overnight. You know, obviously, new owner Elon Musk uh, to, uh, deciding to disband and dissolve the board on Monday night. We're talking about uh, the this board. It was made up of around 100 organizations, and the whole point of it was to, you know, monitor hate speech as well as, you know, child exploitation and any tweets about suicide. And again, it was all to combat, you know, hate and, you know, awful things from gathering on Twitter. But, you know, overnight, uh, Elon Musk deciding to dissolve this board, uh, saying that it does, he's reevaluating things and the council was not the best structure to bring I external insights. So again, even more changes at Twitter, and we could see even more Twitter files released in the coming days, Mitch. Elon Musk says, I am the captain now. Tom, thank you for that report. We'll see you on Morning in America. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.